Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome to File Play of the Day, October 24th, 2013. And I actually did a earnings, post earnings review last night where I said that this gap would work. Now, how did I know the gap would work before the stock even opened on the day? Because I know how to rate stocks, I know how to qualify gaps, I know the directional bias for the gap and if it's going to work or fail. And that's how it's done. Uh, and this played out. I actually think that uh, you could still be in this. This is this could be giving uh, nine twenty five nine dollars today. I'm not in this anymore. But honestly, this could go and break again. This could really go and break again. <clears throat> just look here. It's just it's not even rallying. I mean, it's just absolutely not even rallying here. Just one of these things that. Uh, is just going to keep going. So possibly $9 today on this file. Really, really nice gap. So I saw this last night. Last night it was right around here gapping down. And look where it opened this morning. It opened this morning at 10.30. It opened $2 where it was even last night. But even here last night I liked it to break. Lots of things going on in this today. Uh, this is actually uh, shorting, selling, everything under the sun that's happening in this. And once again, the aggressive entry was the one on this. Let's go back. Did it on the one minute. Uh, right here. And I put the stop tight, tight, tight then over this area here. Not over the topping tail. It shouldn't do something like this again to for the drop down on in here. So this is one of these ones where it had this jerky motion. This is a machine. It's a good example of a machine here that popped on through. It still held a good level of resistance. Um, it pooped over the 1038, which it was um, had broken this morning in this, but I liked it. And you, you have to know that sometimes things will do this. In fact, where is this on the daily chart? It was an area of resistance. There, you see it? I actually thought it could even rally all the way up to here. The, the, I, I would have shorted this today no matter what it did. The only way I would have the only way I would not have shorted this today is if it would have done a reverse swoosh, which it didn't do, and I knew there was no way it would do that. <laughs> here. It's a nice trade. So looking at this borrow, people say, gosh, you know, you know, it looked like this was all over here after this. But this is a bullish gap, and it's a big bar. This is a $3 plus bar that happened back here um, on September 9th, and it ran over this gap too. And people say, gosh, you know, this, is, this is done now. This is done. It's going to recover. The stock's going up. It ran all the way up here. But you see that all this did was retrace into resistance. This is why people say, gosh, we you know gaps fill themselves. No, they don't. They do not. The, every time a something looks like a gap fail, it is a rally into resistance if it's a short. If it's a short that fails on the day. But anyways, this wasn't a short anyways. This was a gap up. Would I have bought this? No, absolutely not. Not in a million years. I, as soon as I saw this, I went back and looked because I had shorted this. And then I wondered, hmm, but you know what? You don't buy this. And there's no nothing to do here. You just don't do anything. And I was expecting it to do exactly what it did today at some point. So, you know, all of this here is short covering. It's short covering that happened. And some people bought in here and they got hurt. They got hurt today when the stock got down. But this is mostly short covering. Why? Look at the stock. People have been short this. They've been shorted for a while. They're taking profits. Just a similar thing that happened on Netflix the other day, except for the opposite direction. People do take profits. And when the stock started doing this in here and didn't break 10, people got out. And I don't even know why there probably could have been news or something else that made this gap. I don't know. But it wasn't a good gap to buy. Stock gap down again. This is the one that I did. This is what you make money. This is how you make money, too. You make money doing things that are correct, not doing things that are incorrect. A lot of people do things that are incorrect, and then they wonder why they lose. It's really no surprise. Again, this goes back to you have to have 100% conviction in what you do. I really have 100% conviction in what I do, and that's what allows me to take the trade. And then when I get up in the morning, it looks even better than it did last night. Well, then I have 1,000% conviction, and I do it. So this was FIO. Nice gap, nice golden gap, nice Stocks with show play of the day on Thursday. We'll see what we get tomorrow. Have a wonderful day, everybody. If you are interested in the Gap course this weekend, the Golden Gap course this weekend, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.